Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll just move that out of the way. I'm going to start machining the cylinder block. What I'll do, I'll just quickly mount it on the milling machine and skim these faces of the cylinders each side. And then what I'll do is I'll mount it properly so I can get the cylinder centers square with the milling machine and in the right place so I can bore the cylinders to size. So let's get it set up on the milling machine and start. Right, I've got that set up on the milling machine, clamped down nice and tight. What I'll do is I'll just skim this down to the right height. I've got to take uh, about 112 foul off of there. Then I'll put another clamp through there. I've got another uh, nut underneath there ready to do the same. And then I'll take this one off and then machine that face. So let's get going. Right, that's one side done. I just clamp that back on, move the cutter over, take that one off and do the other side. Right, lovely. What I'll do now is turn it over and do the other side. I'll get back to you after I've done that. Right, that's both sides of the flange where the cover would be fitting done. What I'll do now is clamp this up properly all in line so I can bore the cylinders. Right, after looking at the drawing for ages, I decided to stick a piece of shim on the, the cylinders to cover up the cast holes that are there. I've checked the roundness of this part. That's where the um, piston cap with the shaft coming out will be fitting on. That one and that one. So I've marked the hole there and I've checked the measurements from the center to center which is right and then from the center to the top this is going to be machined flat later on and a lot of machining on it and looking at the drawing that's machined to just about there and also from the center of the holes to where the saddle where it's going to fit on the boiler will be machined so I'm happy with that. I'm going to get that set up now on the minimum machine and start boring the holes out. Right, I've got that clamped on at the minute and I'm happy that I'm on centre this way. And I've got it set up centre there. What I'm going to do, I'll take this piece of shim off, put another bolt through there and tighten up on the top. I'll bore out the two inch cylinder 
and then I shall move over the right distance to the center of that one put a bolt through there and clamp that one and then bore that one Just adjust the cutter a little bit at a time. As you can see I've done a fair bit off the of camera because there's quite a bit to do. I've got one more cut to do and that'll be the two inch low pressure cylinder board out. So I'll just do the last cut. Just give that a measure. That's two inch. Oh, that's a good fit. That's lovely. Right, so that's the two inch one done. I'll just over that eight, move it along to the center of the high pressure cylinder. Right, I've moved over to the center and I'm just about to start boring the one and three eight diameter that's the high pressure cylinder Right, that's the first cut. I'll get back to you when I'm on the last cut. You don't need to see everything in between. There's quite a lot of material to remove. Right, this is the last cut to do on the high pressure cylinder.
I'll just give it a quick measure. Oh, that fits in there, lovely. Right, that's, that's the two cylinder board out to size. That's about all I've got time for this week. In the next video, I'll be turning that around and lining that up to machine the saddle that goes on to the boiler. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2-inch Fowler Showman's Traction Engine.